Okay, so, got a few things on my mind today. Let me move all this stuff. A few things on my mind today. Um, first of all, the Canal and River Trust um, have, um, I want to say back down, but that kind of implies that I sort of bullied them into a, a position. But what they've said is, basically, because I've provided proof of income, that's now good enough for me to stay on my mooring and um, uh, pay the monthly direct debit instalment thing. So that's the first thing I want to get out of the way because um, having spoken to another guy, he seemed all right and he put it all straight and basically what it boils down to is just a lot of unnecessary stress. Uh, Tell me one thing Tell me that there's absolutely no way they can do it any other way, and then backing down and saying actually we can do it this way and, and it, uh, everything's fine. But it's sorted now, so we can draw a line under that and just move on from it. Um, a few other things. While we're talking about money, um, when I lived in my van, I had no outgoings particularly apart from my internet and phone and a couple of things um, so when I when I first started this uh, I guess alternative life uh, vlog um, I was quite happy about how I've got no outgoings and loads of spare cash and all that kind of thing that's all changed now I've got a boat and um, when I actually wrote down how much I earned um, and how much my outgoings were <laughs> sent me on a bit of a downer. I'll be honest, I, 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 I'm stressing about it a bit. Now, what you need to understand is that um, I'm not going to give too much away about what I do for a living, but um, I work for uh, an employer that uh, are not a big company, uh, don't have a lot of money, uh, and I work part-time. I do it because I enjoy the job, and I do it because I like the company and I believe in the company that I work for. But what it means is that the company can't afford to pay me a full-time wage at the moment um, and I can't really go get a job elsewhere part... I don't want to leave, obviously, but I can't uh, really... Unless somebody can give me, like, a day, a day's work cash in hand or something or a day's work anywhere else, I'm still only working four days a week. <sighs> Which leaves me... Um, with an amount of money which is just above what my outgoings are. Which is not what my original plan was to do, it was to save up some money. I guess, to be fair, I guess I was trying to save some money to buy a boat and I ended up buying one anyway, but basically what I'm getting at is I've got loads of outgoings now and, and, uh, and I'm stressing about money. Um, I don't have any other sources of income, so um, my my job is my job, and that's it. Um, but the main the main thing that I've, I noticed actually when I was uh, the main thing I noticed when I was writing it all down was that if I didn't have the boat and or a van, I wouldn't be able to afford to live in a house. How do people manage? I don't get it. I couldn't afford um I couldn't afford rent on an apartment. I couldn't afford a council tax. I couldn't afford a gas bill and an electricity bill and an internet bill and they're, they're essentially the basics, aren't they? I couldn't afford that. And it's really annoyed me because Um, but all, it's just really annoyed me actually I don't, I don't really know why it's annoying me because I'm not planning on doing that anyway but but even the boat now is actually quite expensive um, once I've added everything up it's more expensive than I expected more expensive than I first thought uh, I've got a few other bills that need paying like credit cards and stuff uh, 
And once all these little things add up, you know, that's it. I mean, child maintenance is one of them. I forgot all about that. That was just a direct debit that came out of my old bank account that I didn't even think about, think twice about. Now I've got my own bank account and all my finances are my own again. Fucking hell. I don't know how people manage living in houses. Anyway, so I'm going to try and take on a bit of extra work. I just need one day's work extra a, day, uh, a week. And then things might be alright. It probably equates to 250, 300 quid a month, which is, you know, what I need. So, finances are tight at the moment. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, money is tight. I spent last month, I obviously spent so much money in IKEA, um, thinking that I was um, good with money. And then this month, it's hit me a bit harder than expected. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Um, so I was talking to my uh, neighbour um, yesterday. Uh, no, a few days ago. And um, he's quite a spiritual guy. He's quite a. He's got a few theories about things as well, and, and very interesting. But one of the things he said to me the other day was that um, there's no such thing as coincidence in in his mind. And at first I thought, yeah, there is though. But anyway, what he was saying is the universe essentially puts things in place to, to either test you or to, to treat you good. Again, I don't really know how much... I don't really know what to think about that, but that's his theory. But the more I've started thinking about it, actually... Is it a coincidence that I was living in my van and stayed in a car park and a, an angry old man confronted me, not knowing who I was, what I was capable of, what I could have done to him, how I would have reacted. He was being quite uh, confrontational. Is it a coincidence that a guy came over to me like that, potentially ruined my day, and, and, and obviously you, you saw the video that part afterwards where uh, I, I thought that I, I wasn't going to be able to stay there again. Is it a coincidence that then when I put a video online, a family member of somebody who owns a boat saw it, she showed the family member that lives on the boat, just by coincidence, there happens to be a boat for sale next door to their boat. Just by coincidence, I managed to get the money together and then I ended up moving on it. It just seems bizarre. It just doesn't seem like that could be real. And again, <laughs> I don't want to sound like a proper hippie or like uh, somebody who's just, I don't know, mental or something, but the more I think about that, the more I just think that that series of events just, just seems like too much of a coincidence, like it's something else. Anyway, probably isn't anything else, but it got me thinking about that. And um, so over the last few months, I've had bad things happen and then good things happen and, and that's been it's been um very testing. The bad things that have happened have been awful and made me feel terrible. But then the, these these sort of happy coincidences have come into play. I am not a believer in religion or God or any of that kind of stuff, but I kind of feel like over the last six weeks or so, somebody's been looking looking down on me and saying, come on now, I can help you with that. Come on now. It's not that bad. My emotions have been going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Every single day. Um, but everything's always worked out. The example is this Canal and River Trust thing. They were, they were adamant, there was no way, you're going to have to move your boat, you're going to have to move it today, it's going back for sale, you're mooring, blah, blah, blah. And I was 
oh my god, I can't be, I can't tell you how much stress I was under with that. I didn't know what to do. I'm new to boating, so I don't know where you put a boat when when you've not when you've not got a mooring. I can't just tie it up across there. Anyway, but then somebody just said, somebody else came along and just said, well, no, we could fix that. We could fix that for you. Let me help you with that. Let's do this instead. Let's do it this way. It's all just worked out. I don't know. This is this is <laughs> some strange things happening recently. There are people that are definitely, definitely being sent to test me. Definitely trying to pull my strings. Definitely trying to push me off the edge. 100%. But for every one of them people, there seems to be five, ten people encouraging me. Pulling me back, saying, actually, let's, you know, we can, do, we can do this. Putting their arm around me. No, Liam, we can help you with that. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. Do it this way. The last few months has taught me who my friends are, how many friends I've got, um, how strangers are willing to offer support, um, how friendly strangers have been in general, really. It's just incredible. I feel like I'm part of a community, which is something that I've shied away from. I don't want to be a part of a community particularly, but I now feel like I'm a part of a community, which everybody seems nice. I um I I've got a a good set of followers on social media, uh, on, on Instagram and Facebook. People on my personal Facebook are just messaging me all the time, making sure I'm all right, making sure things are good, asking if there's anything they can do to help. Just coming around and bringing me things, like mainly food. I'll be honest, but you know, uh, uh, Darren came around and gave me a kettle uh, the other week and. Uh, my friend Dan came and brought me a microwave, just unannounced, which is uh, just just nice. Uh, people that I've not seen in a long time have just come round and bought me things. Uh, uh, Gemma and Matt and uh, uh, Helen bought me some nice things as well. Um, so many people bringing, not just bringing me things, it's not even about the things. So many people just bringing me company and bringing me a smile and bringing me somebody to talk to and all that it's been it's been incredible it's it's a, a bizarre feeling that I've got at the moment um, but it, it feels good if I could be any more laid back I'd probably be laid down uh, which is what somebody said to me the other day my 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 friends, who are the friends that I have um, recently uh, realised are my friends, the people that I've known for a long, long time but don't speak to, I don't reach out to them, uh, if at all. Um, I, I have not spent any time, I've not gone around to their, their house and helped them with anything. I've just sat back and been, been a bit of a recluse. And the first time I get in trouble, or need help, I don't even have to ask for the help. They just know, and they've been there for me. I'm blown away by that. Again, I don't want to sound too much like a hippie, but I'm just thankful for everything that that is happening for me, to me at the moment. There are, uh, uh, you know, I've just said there are people trying. Oh, people are trying. <laughs> there are people trying to. Uh, drag me down good luck with that one good luck with that one um, because for every every one person trying to drag me down there are ten people trying to build me up and that's what's important that's what's important in this life anyway listen I ain't going to be keeping you um, any longer than I need to this is a positive. Um, a positive day. A positive vlog. Thank you very much for watching. My YouTube subscribers are brilliant. The comments are always good. Um, 
and some people uh, comment saying that I'm helping them uh, by making these videos but it's them people that are helping me because I'm sat here now in a boat on my own talking to a camera and uh, I'm doing it for a reason I'm doing it to, to, to upload to YouTube but when I'm down or when I'm lonely or when I'm uh, I've got nothing else to do this is my hobby now this is what I do and um, it's therapeutic it makes me feel good I know that at least one person will watch this and they might get something from it and that to me is just again it's building me up it's, it's uplifting um, thank you everybody Every, everybody everybody who's just everybody who's messaged or text or commented or liked or any of those things thank you everybody you're making me feel good and I hope that I can transfer some of that back to you but anyway uh, if you can subscribe that'd be good um, and but if not that's fine just lurk that's fine uh, thank you very much and goodbye I'll see you again soon